Hello everyone, I'm Vaishali Gupta, author and educationist, and I'm the founder of One Teacher, One Scientist. Today I want to talk about constructivist learning approach or constructivism. What is it that a constructivist learning approach aims at or what does it talk about? So, you know, we, we've often heard of this term constructivism, but many times in my teacher training workshops, teachers used to find it very difficult to understand what do we exactly mean by constructivism and how does it really help in deeper learning in children. So just to give you a very brief introduction to constructivist learning approach, well, it states that, you know, the basic premise on which constructivism revolves around is that children construct their own knowledge. And you know, it is determined by the experiences they get. So since students construct their knowledge based on their prior knowledge and experiences, constructivism greatly leads to very individual knowledge. You know, for example, you give an activity to two kinds of children. It's not necessary that both will actually construct the same kind of knowledge in their minds because it will greatly depend on the kind of prior knowledge that each of them has and the kind of experiences the child has had throughout growing up because their perceptions are going to be different. How they perceive information is going to be different. Therefore, how they process that information and create new knowledge is going to be different for every child. So it leads to very individual knowledge. And therefore, it is highly dependent on the learner's prior knowledge and new experiences. So, you know, it really says, it really focuses that knowledge is constructed rather than being passively absorbed. Therefore, constructivist learning approach is very beneficial when we are talking of skill building, when we are trying to shift from rote learning, because it cannot, uh, you know, it defies all previous, uh, you can say, thoughts on how knowledge gets constructed, because knowledge is constructed and not passively absorbed. So when we talked of rote learning, in rote learning, knowledge is being passively absorbed rather information is being passively absorbed so learning in this process is a very active process and it is it does not consider learning as a passive activity so there is an active engagement of the learner with the world around him or her therefore experimentation manipulation of objects observation and problem solving, they become very important tools of constructivism. So when we are creating curriculum, when we are talking of how to transact activities, how to transact uh, teaching in classrooms, I think having a bit of knowledge of constructivism and looking at knowledge uh, building from a constructivist learning approach point of view would really be helpful. So always remember that children construct their own knowledge, which is determined hugely by the experiences that they get and their prior knowledge. What is the prior knowledge that they already have? What are the experiences that they already have? And what are the kind of experiences that we are giving them now? So depending on these uh, parameters, children will construct new knowledge. And that is the entire premise of a constructivist learning approach. So um, I would be dealing with some more on constructivism in my next videos. Do let me know in case you want any more topics to be touched upon. And I would definitely try and accommodate them in my upcoming videos. Do stay tuned, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so now. And uh, looking forward to seeing you again.